Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm not gonna show you a new build guys because uh, this build actually brings a, a bug that you can't install it and it stays always on zero percentage and if I restart the phone it's tr it tells me try to install it again and then it stays again on zero percent um, but I'm gonna show you the new camera UI that Microsoft updated for the Insider Fast which you, you don't need to have the latest uh, build you must have this uh, build 14946 on this build uh, you can get the update for the new camera and here is the new camera ui as you can see here the new button there is a new the button it's uh, white now even I don't, I don't know why they went to white because the camera button is white but the video it's still transparent and the panorama it's still transparent but if you scroll like down it's like previous, previous was also like this, if you scroll down, you go to camera, uh, video, ah, okay, so I didn't saw that. So when the when you select video or camera or panorama, then it selects white. As you can see here, camera is uh, transparent. If I select now panorama, it goes to white, and if I select camera, it goes to white. Okay, so I understand that. Let's rotate. And here we have a new option that is the timer. This timer has two functions to place the timer and take pictures like uh, 10 seconds and like beep 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 and then take seconds by its takes picture by itself or if you go here into the settings um, you go here um, where is it time lapse when the timer is on keep taking photos until I press the camera button again okay so I turn it on and you have here capture live images it was there the only new feature here is the time lapse option uh, and if I turn it on like let's two second timer and if I press let's if I if I press the um, taking picture it will take pictures in until I press again the camera button so let's as you see it took one picture then takes another one then takes another one just like a time lapse this is really cool actually um, it should have been here much longer and if I press the button again then it stops here at the corner on the corner previously was the previous photos that you, that you took now they moved down and you see here it's a square the pictures that I took and here at the the top it's the switch camera so if I press it on it uh, it should switch the front camera hello there hello <laughs> and if I press again it will switch to the back camera maybe not come on <laughs> main camera and if you press here at the bottom it will go to the previous pictures that you took and as you can see here I have the time-lapse pictures and so on which is really nice that this is time-lapse HDR you still have that HDR there which uh, this was previously there let's turn it off and let's go to turn off the time-lapse and if I turn on uh, let's rotate it if I turn on the timer let's put five seconds and now at five se if I press the camera button for example you play you want to take a picture of yourself but you place your phone uh, somewhere to take the picture and you press the timer press the press the button to take a picture and then it will in five seconds it will take the picture uh, and it took the picture which is really nice because this timer now has two functions to take the picture itself and then to take pictures also by themselves but like a time lapse which is really nice and then you turn it off and yeah that's just, that's more or less the the new UI uh, I really like where Microsoft is going it's I mean it's clean um, has good functionalities uh, which this uh, time lapse and timer because timer wasn't previously there and you can still swipe left for the autofocus and stuff like that um, I don't want it and here the also the icon for the settings it's also cool how they made it now it's more like organized because you have one button here and one, uh, one icon here and one icon here like they are both like the same size which is more uh, ac more accurate more uh, simple now and then at the bottom you have the previous pictures that you took then when you press the settings then it, to, it gets you to the settings which these settings were, were previously here only the 
time lapse was added, uh, focus light was still there, capture live images. It's really cool feature, but I don't really like it, so I turn it off. And for the videos, I always turn on digital video stabilization because because it's actually pretty st stabilized. And here, on, press on hold the camera button, photo burst or video, which <laughs> I don't have a camera button, so this setting shouldn't be here. But how this camera app, it's like. Um, like international for every for every phone is the same. I mean the set the settings it's here, but doesn't matter. I mean it's not really a problem. But yeah, this is the new UI. Let me know guys what you think about it, and I'll see you in the next one.